Keeping drivers and wildlife safe in the Sierra, Caltrans is building two animal crossings along the I-80 corridor. That's part of a major road construction project spanning from Alta to Drum Four Bay. Your reporter covering Placer County, Brady Haup Live, explains how with this area is so critical. A major construction project along I-80 through the Sierra, making traveling safer for drivers while also safer for wildlife. Everything in total, uh, we were looking to improve the safety and mobility in this particular corridor. It's a part of the $146 million Monta Vista Rehabilitation Project, which includes upgrading the pavement and the drainage system, along with adding two wildlife animal crossings located between Alta and Drum 4 Bay. Caltrans chose this area after a three-year traffic study revealed a high number of collisions, many involving wildlife like deer, mountain lions, and even bears. And we needed to be able to, to provide an avenue that they could go through their normal um, migratory patterns safely. Additionally, Caltrans will put a fencing along the highway to funnel the wildlife in the direction of the tunnel. Experts say that part is key. If we want to prevent wildlife vehicle collisions, we basically have to fence most of the highway. And I, actually, I would say I-80 through this year in Nevada, uh, at some point, the entire thing should be fenced. Deer populations are on the decline here in California, and 10% of deer deaths are caused by traffic collisions, and a lot of that is due to lack of fencing. Caltrans will also set up cameras to collect data to see how they can improve the tunnels. Dr. Schilling says more studies are needed to identify other high-risk areas where wildlife crossings could make a difference. We want to just protect animals in general and give them a way to get across the highway. Then almost all highways in California need some kind of attention. So Caltrans expects the cameras will capture gray foxes, black bears, mountain lions, and mule deer using the crossings. Now construction is expected to be complete before the end of the year.